Hello everyone! Welcome back to episode 43 of my Let's Build series. It's so lovely to see you all! Uh, we have a little bit of a situation. <laughs> so I went AFK, I was AFKing some materials so I could get some dark prismarine, and then I started innocently building my palace. Like I do, all the time. But of course, because I had been AFK, with phantoms attacking us. And I haven't had phantoms attack us in a while, so I thought I would hit record and do a little fighting. Come on, phantoms. They have such a hard time getting around this roof. <laughs> come on, come on. Oh, dear. <laughs> that one really knocked me off. Their green glowing eyes are so spooky. Oh, goodness. Got him. Oh. I think the sounds they make are the worst part. Ugh, the like screeching that they do. It's so horrible, and there's so many. There's like six phantoms flying around me right now. There we go, got another one, got another one. Oh, we're just knocking them down like crazy. How many membranes? Eight membranes. Well, this has been a very beneficial night. Thank you, phantoms, I actually needed those. Let's see, can I hit him? Oh, I'm gonna hit myself with that arrow. <laughs> no, got him! Oh! Uh, hello. <laughs> okay, I think that's every single one that has spawned so far. I'm actually gonna go get some sleep so that I can be productive. Oh, three creepers. That's not good. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh, well, it wouldn't be a proper episode if I didn't fight a creeper, so let's just get that out of the way and hopefully we'll be safe for the rest of the episode now. Alright, now that it is daytime again in the palace, I need to head back over here and get back to work on this roof. It's almost complete. Look at this, everyone. It's so close. Just this little section is left and then this whole lower part of the roof We'll be done. I'm so excited for that. And I have quite a bit of dark prismarine on me, so I'm gonna get to work on this and see how much more I can get done. All right, so that roof over there is now looking a whole lot better. I'm super happy with it. Now, in this episode, it's time for us to polish off a few things. We're probably still not going to finish anything, but I just kind of wanted to work on a couple of projects or small little tasks, perhaps, that we've been kind of ignoring or putting off for a little while. You know, little things, like the inside of here being a mixture of blocks, or like the torch spam that is everywhere. As you can see in my inventory, I have four stacks of sea lanterns and some carpet, so I'm hoping we'll be able to go into areas like, for example, right here, and right here, and we'll just replace out this flooring with a sea lantern and a brown carpet. Now it does stand out a little bit, but it's so much better than the torch spam. Oh my goodness, let's get rid of all of this torch spam. <laughs> Storage room up first. It's going to be so satisfying to finally get rid of all of those torches. That's so much better already. Okay, we could do more, we could do more, right here, maybe. A good spot. Yes, indeed, perfect. Okay, maybe right here in each of these corners. We'll have to go through and check the lighting after because the last thing I want is a creeper in my storage room. But I mean, I think this should work. Also, if we don't like the brown around here, I could definitely go for that as well that's actually kind of nice let's do it i don't have enough carpet on me right now to do everywhere but i thought we'd get a good start on this at least on camera all right now the lighting level let's see here 12 11 oh my goodness wonderful can i get rid of these torches i think in here it's getting dark oh it's nine okay this looks fine then oh how wonderful 
Torch spam be gone. Oh, that looks so much better already. Okay, let's go do that to the upstairs. Another thing I wanted to do in this area right here is actually just get some stairs around here. This way we can pop up out of this at any point that we want to. And it'll just be like a little bit of an indent in the floor. So it looks like it belongs a little bit more. Yeah, that looks so much better. So now when we pop up, we can just step onto the stair. Oh, that is so much better. Perfect. Now, I think I may actually drag this carpet in kind of a weird shape. Like maybe we can taper it off right here. Like something like that to make, give it a nice rounded end. And we can do the same thing on the other side. So we're gonna actually drag this carpet all the way down so that instead of having this harsh divide right here where this glass is, it's all going to be carpet. So it'll all be this sort of nice, lovely blue color. And I think that'll fit in a lot better. Now, obviously I'm going to need a lot more carpet to pull this off, but uh, you kind of get the idea. Another one of the classic lighting tricks that I've been doing along here so far is with these planters. So I'm gonna do some more down here because I think we definitely need some greenery in here, especially on these two edges right here where I don't have a plan to have a whole lot of details. We can just sort of pop in some of these planters. I'm going with the birch trap doors on these because we have so much dark oak in this area. I think it'll break it up really nicely. Let's do one, two, three, maybe one, two, three, and right here. Yeah, that could maybe be a good spacing, I think. Let's see how it looks once it's all in place. Yes, that is so much better already. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's move my shulker boxes so I can do that on this side as well. Let's move the shulker boxes up here because I'm not going to work up here in this episode, I don't think. All right, there we go. This is such a big improvement already. Oh my goodness. Let's get rid of all of those torches. Perfect. That one can go. I believe this one right here, maybe. Oh, maybe not yet. Let's uh, let's maybe get a sea lantern right here. Perfect. Yes. Oh my goodness. It's so wonderful to get rid of those. And look how much cleaner this area looks. Obviously, we need to change this part out still. But I mean, it's just so clean now. Ugh, it makes such a big difference doing small stuff like this. It really does polish off a build. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is actually grab my prismarine and go in here and try and sort out this issue. <laughs> Thankfully, we do have conduit power, so it shouldn't be too bad, but we are getting dragged down by this current, so it might be a little challenging, but that's okay. All right, there we go. This is completely polished off and finished now. That feels so good to get that done. I've been kind of just looking at that for a while. Do you guys ever get like that? Just kind of look at something and I'm like, that needs to be fixed, but I'm not gonna fix it right now. <laughs> That's kind of how I feel feeling about that one for a while. Let's get some more sea lanterns over here and some carpet to cover those up. Whoops. There we go, and I think we can make a little more carpet. Yeah, there we go. Now we have lots, so we can get rid of some torches like this one and this one. Brilliant. Let's go through here and see if we can get rid of some of these. Yeah, there's one right here we can definitely get rid of. Ooh, we could get rid of this one totally. Oh, oh no. I think that's kind of an unseen area under there, so that's going to be fine. Um, and then over here, same idea. Yep, and we can't see under, so that's perfect. I know they're kind of visible, but like, from out here, they're not. So I don't mind very much, because we don't spend a lot of time standing right here looking out at these chairs. So, not a super big deal. Let's just get that stuff in and get rid of these torches. It looks really dark right here. Oh yes, light level seven right there. Okay, so let's go behind this pillar right here. It's probably a good spot. Yeah, perfect. All lit up and wonderful. I think we can do the same thing along edges like this one right here. Now we will be able to see this down there, but I don't think that's gonna matter too much. And if it does, I'll put a little trap door over it. But let's go down and see. Oh, yeah, right there. Okay, so what I can do with that is I think I can actually slab that. Let's slab it. Let's see what that looks like. 
So it will reach in here like this. There we go. Okay, that looks good, actually. So that looks a lot less random with that one right there. And we can just put a trap door right there. Or we can do more slabs. Doesn't matter, but I kind of like having more light sources. The more the merrier. Let's go with a trap door so that the light gets through. By the way, for those of you playing on Bedrock Edition, in Java Edition, unfortunately, slabs don't let light through. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah. Very unfortunate, I know, but it is a feature in uh, Bedrock, so I know some of you are going to be frustrated that I'm not using it. But I'm not using it because it doesn't work, <laughs> not because uh, I'm not reading your comments. Okay, this room might be a little bit more of an issue, but we're going to try to tackle it. Let's get this corner. Oh my, I just made it very, very dark. All right, let's get that corner and that corner. And then same thing down here. I'd like to get all of the torches out of our dining room if I could. Yeah, that helps. Okay, now let's look at the light. Oh, we got a six right here. That's not good. Maybe we can add some in between right here. Yeah, that actually doesn't look too bad. Let's uh, let's do that some more. Perfect. And same thing on the side. So I'm having some issues right here. The light level right behind this chair is too low. These are not reaching, unfortunately. And I think it might look a little bit awkward to put carpet. Hmm. I mean, it wouldn't be the end of the world, but it would be a little weird. So I think this might be an area where we do some planters right here. And this should help bring the light level up just enough. Let's do a planter there and a planter there. Let me just get it kind of roughly in and see if we like that. Yeah, honestly, it's not the end of the world to have that. I think we could also maybe do some armor stands or something like that to cover it up. But I like bringing green into areas like this. And we don't have any uh, greenery in this room right now. So that could be very good. Let me just make some more of these. Yeah, I think that's totally going to work. Perfect. Now this room is actually doing pretty well for lighting. I did pretty good in our ballroom. It's not perfect, but that was the purpose of the carpet. And by the way, for those of you who didn't really like that I put a carpet in a ballroom, I'm kind of assuming that there's not a ball happening right now and that when the time came that there was one, the servants or whomever would uh, roll up the rug and put it away. Because, I mean, although this is a ballroom, I'm sure they're not throwing parties all the time. And this is a main central room to the gardens, both above ground and our gardens below ground. So kind of an important spot to be able to just walk through. And also, I need an excuse to do lighting, so I, I'm gonna need you guys to let me have this. <laughs> it's so hard to get lighting. All right, rant over. Let's continue placing carpet. Oh, by the way, here is my progress. Oh, speaking of lighting. Hello, skeleton. <laughs> Hello, yes, yes, yep, mm-hmm. Lovely, let's get this lit up. Oh goodness, the struggle of putting in a roof. So as you can see, we only have this tiny, tiny little section of roof left. And of course we need to get this wall in and finish off this wall right here. But this area, it's really almost ready to build in. So I think we need to get planning this very, very soon. So my idea for this area right here, or should I say our idea, because a lot of you have also suggested this, is to have this be an area where boats can actually come through and people can step off the boat and come directly into the palace from this side. I think that's a super creative way of thinking about it and it'll add something unique to the palace for sure. So I kind of want to try it. The problem though is only a small portion of this area actually is underwater. So it would mean we would have to dig out all of this lovely grass and I would need a faster shovel for this than efficiency three. But we could create a lovely little canal coming through here, maybe with some rocks and some palm trees and plants and such on the side. And it'll be just a little narrow passageway for some small boats or small ships. Yeah, I think that's a really cool idea. Thank you, everyone. All right, so while we're on the topic of new things and areas that we need to get completed within this palace, I think it's important for us to kind of organize our thoughts a little bit. And I'm in a really big organizational mood right now because of final exams. So I think it's about time we do that. I'm gonna do a little area back here behind our throne room. I'm gonna use... Hmm, what could I use? 
Maybe let's use this wall over here temporarily. This is going to be our new idea board. So remember in our earlier episodes, we had one of these boards, but when I started doing interior design, I actually took it down so that we could uh, build in that area. And I never ever put it back up, even though I intended to. So it's about time we make another one of those with all of our ideas. And I would also like to note that at this point, episode 43, I'm officially announcing that I am done adding new things. In the last episode, we added sort of the final thing that I really, really, really wanted to add to this area, which was the start of our underwater gardens. With the start of this underwater project begins, the start of finishing this whole palace. That sentence sucked and didn't make any sense at all. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. Basically, before we move on to anything new, I want to finish everything that we've started. So let's make a list of what those things actually are. Well, let's start with the obvious one. We need to finish the underwater garden. Underwater, gra oh. <laughs> underwater garden. So that's one thing that needs to be done. We need to do our kitchen interior. We need to do our up stairs interior uh, like the bedroom library and potion rooms room there we go uh what else do we need to do oh we need to finish the decorations in the throne room finish throne room decor we need to get some pets for our beautiful island, like turtles and dogs and kitties and parrots. Get pets and pet rooms. Perfect, perfect. We need to finish the sand castle village details. There we go. We need to do all of the gardens in the upper part of the island. So all of the palm trees, the coral gardens, all of the flowers and that type of stuff that is around. Let's do um, tropical island gardens. What else do we need to do? I mean, there's a million other things. Like for example, this wall right here just has a little tiny, tiny, tiny peak where a window is gonna be. I need to put that window in place. Um, okay, so we need to finish all uh, exterior details on the palace. This is a really long to-do list. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, I believe in us. We can do it. This is why we gotta stop starting new projects and start finishing stuff. It's it's really important. And I think writing it down and organizing it like this is going to be a good way for me to keep it straight in my head. So if you guys know of anything else that we need to finish, that's not like tiny. Like obviously I need to finish connecting this bridge, but I'm not gonna write it down. It's just gonna be included in the general interior. Oh, I should write down another one though. Speaking of the lighting we've been talking about, roof uh, lighting. <laughs> Roof lighting is a big problem. Let's actually address the roof lighting problem a little bit right <laughs> a little bit right now. Now? No. There we go. Perfect flawless takeoff. Okay, so our roof, well, it's massive and it's dark and it's built of solid blocks. This means that besides for these torch spammed areas, Mobs can spawn like crazy up here. And you guys have suggested a couple things, like for example, buttons. Now, I think buttons are a great idea, but let's say we put buttons on every block along this roof. First of all, that's a lot of buttons. And second of all, that's gonna show up and we're gonna have like a polka dot roof. <laughs> like imagine that, but everywhere. I don't think that would look good, so I don't really want to go with the button solution. I have got a few other suggestions like string and carpet. Carpet kind of falls under the same category. There's no carpet that is this exact color, so we would lose a lot of the detail that our dark prismarine provides us. And string just doesn't work. I've looked online to see if string works or not, and everybody is saying that it does not. For some reason, my comment section is saying that it does, but I've watched a few other v 
videos of YouTubers trying it, and unless they changed it in really, really recent updates, it's not something that works. So, I think what we're going to have to do is a combination of two things. We can take down this layer of dark prismarine and build it back up with stairs instead, because mobs don't spawn on stairs. And we can also take these corners, like so, and we can place a little tiny touch of a sea lantern in there. And I think that will be hidden enough that it actually it looks good to be there because sea lanterns of course fit in really well with our prismarine theme so it's not quite the same effect as torch spam gets oh i don't have my silk touch ah oh, well we've got stacks and stacks of prismarine and these crystals it's fine so yeah that's the roof solution i think i'm gonna go with um if you have any suggestions though i'm very very open to them goodness this is gonna be a challenge but yeah that doesn't look too bad we can even place one piece of carpet on those areas to cover it up a little bit oh boy just as i thought i was fixing all of my lighting problems you come in here and spawn right in my main entrance how rude oh don't blow up no 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 no! oh my goodness that was almost so terrible okay what on earth lighting I guess this area needs lighting. What the heck? I really wouldn't think that it does, but okay, we'll do it. <laughs> I'm not gonna argue with the creepers. The creepers have spoken and we must do lighting in those two areas. But in order to cover that up, I actually need to go grab some more wool because I've used it all, which is good news. So I'm gonna spend some time at my wool farm the next time I get a good chance. I just got back from yet another night being AFK and I got a whole lot more dark prismarine and even more to get in here. As you can see, we have a bunch of ink sacks. I think that's going to be the last time that I need to AFK my squid farm, which is really exciting. <laughs> it's not very fun to AFK a squid farm. However, we're still going to have to AFK at the guardian farm, of course, so that I can get lots more prismarine for all of our details. But one thing at a time, let's focus on getting this dark prismarine roof in. And while I do this, I would like to read our comment or question of the day. So, today's comment or question of the day comes from Chris, who says, It's been a while since you worked near the lighthouse and the guardian farm. I had an idea for the laboratory you were planning to build. What if you incorporated large glass pipes into the design and filled them with water or seagrass and fish to give the lab the underwater feel that you've been giving your other projects in this world? Love the series. Your voice calms me down a lot and your build style is beautiful. Take care of yourself. Thank you so much for the kind comment, Chris. I really appreciate it. And you are correct. We have not worked over in our guardian area for a long time, but I visit there off camera all the time. And it's, it is kind of rough having it in this sort of under construction state. So I think what I'm going to do is <laughs> with the theme of this episode, that is another one of our odd jobs that need to get done around here. And uh, this just adds to the point that we have a lot of projects started we need to finish so as you guys know easter break is coming up if you celebrate easter i really hope you have an amazing holiday and if you don't i still hope you get lots of yummy chocolate and enjoy the uh time off if you get any time off for me my last exam is on the thursday of this week that this episode is releasing so, if I get this done on time, this episode will release on a Wednesday, which means tomorrow I have my final exam. So please, please, please wish me some good luck if you are hearing this right now. I would really appreciate it. But after that is done, it means I will have a little bit of time off, about a week, to just work on some projects. So, I'm probably going to take that time to do some of the grindy off-camera work in this world, like tearing down some of the scaffolding, fixing up our lighting in the area, because I don't want to have another episode of me just running around fixing lighting. That's just unnecessary. And I'll probably also dig out the area under our lighthouse island. I hope you are all excited for the projects that we have coming up in this world and for us finishing everything finally. I am personally so excited for that and almost a little bit sad. I don't know, something about it. Like we've been working on this for so long, since August and it's now April. And every single day that I play in this world, it gets a little bit closer to being complete. 
and I'm really excited about that. And I know the whole point of Minecraft is that it can go on for infinity and you can keep adding and adding, but our initial goal was to create this palace. And look at that. We've done the whole roof. Oh my goodness. I can't believe we've actually done this. That is so exciting. Thank you guys so much for coming on this journey with me. It has been so fun to learn how to build properly in survival mode and to make these episodes with you. I feel like I really am getting a closer connection to my audience, which I love. But Anyways, unfortunately, I've been rambling for a really long time in this episode, and so, although it seems like we didn't get a lot done, I promise, this has actually been one of the more productive episodes we've had, because I feel like I've gotten all of the projects straight in my head. So, as usual, if you have any suggestions on things that we need to finish up that I may have been forgetting about, please leave them in the comments down below. I will see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye!